Good morning guys, so it is currently 8.30 and I've decided to vlog again. Um, I'm really working on my vlogging and I'm really going to be working on the kind of content I'm producing um, because I've had like a, like a sit down and a think and I think YouTube is definitely something that I love and really want to put a lot of time into it because I'm a very creative person and I feel like without YouTube I haven't had that kind of creative outlet if that makes any sense so yeah that's where I'm that's where I'm at right now so hopefully this vlog is a little bit better than the previous ones I've been posting but bear with me if it's not because it's going to slowly start molding that way but like I said it's 8 30 I'm about to go and take the kids to school I've just woken up well about an hour ago um as you can probably tell my face is super puffy um so yeah just woken up I'm gonna take the kids to school and also I dyed my hair yesterday so that's why it looks a little bit crazy I've done a little bit better with not getting dye all over my face though so I'm quite proud of that um but yeah I'm gonna head downstairs get my shoes on and go because otherwise they're gonna be late to school <laughs> So it is now 9.45, um, just got back. We ended up going to my Nan's for a cup of tea because um, I haven't seen it for a while so I thought I'd pop in, say hi. Um, I'm gonna make myself some food now because I do need some breakfast. But before I do that, I just wanna mention that today's video is actually sponsored and I'm really, really excited about this because it is a really cool brand called Saint Tropica and they basically do hair vitamins that I'm really excited about. So I've actually popped you in my cupboard so that I don't have to hold you while I talk about this. But I'm going to be doing the St. Tropica 60 day hair challenge, which St. Tropica make hair vitamins that are literally the cutest thing in the world. Came in this gorgeous little package, the cutest little box. And look at this. I'm definitely gonna reuse this little container because how cute is that? Absolutely love it, a little circle container, it's just so cute. I'm gonna be doing their 60 day hair growth challenge. Now, I cut my hair recently and I've been kind of thinking about growing it out and I also really want my hair to be thicker. Now, I've tried lots of different hair vitamins. Some have kind of worked for me, but because of how expensive they were, I just didn't find it. I didn't find a point in it because they weren't really doing anything. I think it was just my natural hair growth. So I'm really excited to try these out. It says longer, stronger, thicker hair, which is exactly what I want. They just look like this. They're in those really easy to swallow little capsules. And I'm gonna be taking one of these every day for 60 days. And then I'll be letting you guys know if it worked or not. And you guys will have to see if it worked or not. So the proof is gonna be in the pudding, my friends. So I'm actually gonna do a little overlay on the screen, like here of me measuring my hair. I'm not exactly sure how long it is right now, but I'm gonna go and get a tape measure. I did mean to get one for my nan, but I completely forgot. I'm gonna measure my hair from root to tip and let you know how long it is. And then in 60 days, we'll measure again and see how long it is then. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I really hope you guys think about going on this journey with me. I think it'd be really cool to kind of measure our progress together. So if you are interested in buying the St. Tropica hair vitamins, there will be a link in the description if you go check them out. I'm really excited and I really think this is gonna work. So fingers crossed it does, but we'll see in 60 days. So yeah, that's how my morning's looking right now. I'm gonna make myself a drink, take my hair vitamins, take the rest of my vitamins. Um, I take like vitamin C, vitamin D and cod liver oil tablets every day. Uh, Cause I'm into vitamins, I've got a lot of them. But like my everyday vitamins, if you're wondering, I think I've mentioned this before, but if you wanna get them, these are for Chuck, but I do take them. Cause it's like a family thing. Uh, so this is what I take on a daily basis, if you're wondering. Not exactly sure what I want for breakfast. I think I might go with like scrambled egg, toast and bacon. Sounds pretty good, so let's get cooking. quite a bit later in the day now it is quarter to one uh, okay um and i've just gone out and photographed some of the wreaths you guys explained about my businesses if you want to check the things out i own one business that you can buy things from so if you want to check it out there'll be a link in the description um but i've just photographed some of the wreaths to 
start, you know, editing them because this is from our summer range. And I do photograph pretty much everything myself. I'm not an award-winning photographer, but I'm okay. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just importing all of the photographs and then I'm gonna get to editing them. So I'll let you know how I'm getting on. I'll uh, show you as I'm putting them on the site and stuff like that. And I also need to think of names for the reefs because I haven't done that yet. So this is gonna be quite difficult. <laughs> So, I've just finished photographing the wreaths, as you guys saw, and now my SD card isn't working. I've just put it into my laptop and nothing happened, and I was like, weird, so I took it back out, put it back in, nothing happened. Flicked a little switch on it, nothing happened, and literally nothing is happening. I don't know how to fix it. And I don't know how to get anything off my camera any other way, so... I think I might have just photographed stuff and now it's stuck on there, which I'm really concerned about. Hey, so I've just done some yoga, as you guys just saw. I look crazy, it always looks insane after I've just dyed it for a few days, it just looks insane. Um, yeah, I've done some yoga with Adrian. I will be going to the gym later on as well But I am trying to work on my flexibility because I'm not very flexible at all. Like I literally Struggle to touch my toes like I wouldn't be able to like touch my toes for five seconds because I'm really Inflexible so I've been doing yoga with Adrian. She has like this stretching yoga thing But the only thing is it makes me really sleepy when I finish doing it um, So yeah but I do enjoy it and I do feel a little bit bendier. That felt like a really good stretch because when I work out, I feel like my muscles kind of contract. I don't know if that's like scientifically correct. You can tell me. I don't know if that's like scientifically correct, but I feel like after I've worked out, my muscles kind of like, like contract again and then I have to stretch them out again. I don't know. It's always harder after I've done a workout like the day before or the day before that. But I'm not a scientist. I don't really know how this stuff works. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to do it kind of every day just to kind of like, my goal is not to touch my toes. Let me see how good I'm getting at it. <laughs> Cause I honestly suck. Those people that can put their hands on the floor are literally amazing to me. Oh my God, that is so much less painful than it usually is. I haven't done this for ages. Oh my God, I can actually do that and it only hurts a little bit. Yeah, Bentley, celebrate. I'm gonna try and count to five and see if I can actually hold it because before I literally couldn't touch my toes. One, two, three, four, five, okay, it burns really bad, but I can do it. I wonder if it's different because my legs are closed. It probably is, isn't it? Oh my God, I can actually touch my toes for a longer period of time. I don't know why this is so exciting to me, but it really is. Um, hopefully one day I'll be able to put my hands flat on the floor and it won't feel like my hamstrings are being ripped out. Um, that's the dream, but I'm gonna go get back to work now. I need to start editing this vlog actually because I haven't edited any of it. I'm planning on posting it on Saturday. So, better get that done. So, it's food time again. I feel like we do spend our time together in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, food time again. I'm making myself some chicken, brown rice, and sweet potato. If you're trying to build muscle, this is definitely what you need to be eating. I'm gonna do a full what I eat in a day with just like, I'm gonna make it a simple day of eating so it's not extrav extravagant and so that it's easy for people to make. So this is a really easy recipe and it will be in my what I eat in a day. Cause I'm gonna do one of those like, what I eat in a day for booty gains videos. Um, I know I don't have the world's biggest bum, but saying that, my bum has got a lot bigger since I started working out. Like my ass literally used to be like this and now there's actually a curve to it. Depends what leggings I'm wearing, you might not be able to see right now. But like, if you look at my stomach to bum ratio, it's there, it really is there. And it used to be just like, like this. 
like literally there. Like I've, like I've probably got like two extra inches. It literally just goes straight down. And it's not the biggest bum in the world, but it is a bum and compared to my waist. I feel proud of myself, especially considering I've always been like this. Been like a plank, like a surfboard. So I'm really proud of myself. And I know that it's definitely working. And food has so much to do with it, more than you think. Okay, so it's way later now. Just got back to my nan's house and I'm literally about to head out to the gym or oh, I need my glasses because it is dark outside and I'm not allowed to drive without my glasses. <laughs> um, and it's even worse at night time. I literally can't see a thing if it's dark. Um, so, glasses on, let's go. I'm in my gym stuff. I'm going to the sunbed place first to get my pain on. And then I'm going to the gym, which I'm still not looking forward to. Literally, I would rather shoot myself in the foot than go to the gym right now, but I'm doing it. Alexa! Put the radio on. Cool. So I've just finished at the gym. It was horrible. I literally hate the gym. I feel like I'm in a zoo and everybody just stares at me and it's really kind of off-putting and weird, especially when you're shy and hate being the center of attention. It's like the worst thing ever. And when you're doing something you're not sure of because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing in the gym. So it just makes everything really bad. But I am seeing progress. So I'm kind of like 50-50 as to whether I quit. Um, I don't know, I'm in a weird headspace today. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna head home now and jump straight in the shower because I'm really sweaty. <laughs> so I just got out of the shower and I'm literally gonna drive straight into bed because it's really late now. I need to get up really early and I need to try and get eight hours of sleep. So I'm gonna head into bed and yeah, I just want to say thank you so much to St. Tropica for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to do the hair challenge with me, that'd be really cool. We can like share progress pics over our Instagram. And the link will be in the description for you guys to go check it out. And I'll see you super soon with a brand new video. I'm going to be posting super soon, so keep your eyes peeled.